We're thankful for Jesus, the reason for the season. And we're thankful for those that worked so hard, Jill, and all of those and the little children to provide us with some entertainment tonight. And, uh, and our little Christmas parade. I pray we wish you be much in prayer as they come. And the first thing we want to do is go to the Lord in prayer and ask the Lord blessing upon the service. And uh, I'll ask Brother Frank, if you would, to lead us to the throne of grace. We pray. <laughs> Him? Uh, hold on, man. I didn't talk to Everybody knows her first, but I said we God, this uh, day or uh, this time of the year that we uh, have set aside to celebrate uh, the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank God that He uh, He uh, seen fit to send His Son down to this earth, and uh, He lived, lived, walked among us, worked, uh, worked His miracles and all this among us, and uh, uh, healed all the sick, and uh, uh, thing, uh, all so many different things He did, and uh, yes. Amen. still doing today. Still doing it today. He's still working miracles today. He's still healing our sick. Thank God for that. And thank God he walked among us and done all this. And, uh, and he gave his life at Calvary. He gave his life for each and every one of us at Calvary. For God so loved the world. He so loved the world, didn't he? He died for the world. He died for us all. And he, he sent his son to die on that cross. And But he, uh, he didn't... Uh, he died on the cross, but he rose up third in the morning day and he sits at the right hand of God now. 
make an intercession for me. Thank God he is. Thank God make an intercession for me. God, Lord knows I need it. God knew that we needed a Savior, didn't he? He Amen. knew. He can't be too good. He can't be too bad. We all need a Savior. And that Amen. Savior was the, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, born in that manger many years ago. And uh, that's what we're celebrating this time of year for him. We got a Tuesday. Uh, the 25th of December set aside here in the United States of America that we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And everybody say, Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'm going to turn it over to Jill now. I think. You ready? <laughs> now, this is going to be one of our uh, shorter plays. We wanted to involve a lot of our smaller children. And as y'all know, lots of times they, don't, they can't necessarily learn a lot of parts. So, uh, I thought this was a perfect one. This is called Just a Little Christmas. <coughs> so we have our teenagers doing our narrating, and our little ones are going to be our actors and acting, acting it out. And we have a couple of adults helping us out. So I hope y'all enjoy it, and I uh, hope everyone has a, a nice little Christmas this year. So I hope y'all enjoy it. Mary was promised to marry a man named Joseph who lived there too. One day, an angel from God came and talked to Mary. She told Mary she was going to have a baby. So many people, in fact, there was no room in, for them in the inn. So Mary and Joseph stayed in the stable, which was a place for animals to stay warm and dry. There was a cow there. Mm. <laughs> there was a sheep there. <laughs> there was a chicken there. <laughs> and Mary and Joseph stayed there too. There were some shepherds out in the fields watching over their flocks of sheep. And the angel came and talked to the shepherds, and they were terribly afraid.
And all of a sudden, there were lots of angels saying, Glory to the God in the highest. Peace on earth, good will to men. Good will to men. And then the angels said, And the angels left. And when the angels had left, the shepherds went and found the baby Jesus in the manger, just as they had been told. And when they found him, they worshipped him. And that far away in the place called the Jerusalem, he gave to the evil king named Herod. They asked him here where he was. Where is he born king of the Jews? So the king asked his disciples. Where is the king of the Jews to be born? In Bethlehem. In Bethlehem. Go and find him and let me know where he is so I can come and worship him too. So the wise men went and found baby Jesus by following his star. And when they found him, they worshipped him. But King Herod didn't really want to worship baby Jesus. He wanted to harm him. The wise men were warned by God about this, so they went home another way. When the king found out he was tricked, he was really mad. Oh, Go and find him and destroy him. But God wanted Joseph in a dream to get out of there. And so Mary, Joseph and Mary, and the little baby Jesus went to Egypt, and they stayed there until the evil king here died. <laughs> After King Herod died, God told Joseph it was safe to come back because the people who wanted the child dead. Baby Jesus came back from Egypt, and they went to live in the town of Nazareth again. And that's where baby Jesus grew up until he was grown. <coughs> and so now you heard it all about how God and his only son to be born as a baby. So that later he could say, there's more to understand than all of his words. Just a little Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas.
Don't hand it to me. <laughs> Walk to the back, put it on the table. Do not throw it. Don't throw it in the floor. Don't throw it in the floor. You can go back there and help them pick that stuff up. Make sure y'all. Yeah. Go ahead and run the race real quick. Won't take but a minute. Yeah. Okay. Can you tell you? What can you do with 50 youngins? What's that big? Is Ollie going to come back? He might be here, but if that might be here, he might be here.